how she changes her voice like that. Wasn't that neat? <laughs> Melissa Welch. Miss Melissa Welch. I encourage you, if you enjoy classic country music, and I know a lot of you do, you can't turn the radio on these days and hear some of that music. And you know what I mean by classic music because that's why you're here tonight. Come see us on a normal weekend. That's the Sawmill Band. You can check us out at FarmersOpry.com and find out a list of events and, of course, our menu, just like you had tonight, similar every weekend. But right now, the man you guys have all been waiting for, with 30 top 10 hits and eight number ones, direct last night. He was at the Grand Ole Opry, direct from that stage to right here at the Farmers Opry tonight. Y'all make welcome Mr. John Conley. station wagon Trying to keep the muffler from dragging Sometimes it all seems so defeating As I'm hustling to make it to the Cub Scout meeting Ooh, I dream about Mexico Where all the pretty people go But we're on a budget that just won't budge not much money, but a whole lot of love. Living that domestic life. Happy children and a pretty wife. Our cocker spaniels always have it puppy. How could anybody be so lucky? See me blowing my domestic yard. Lord, I own my soul to pass the car. Seems to suit me to a tee That the West life's all right with me Our neighbor's names are Fred and Ruth He wears a lot of leisure suits 
She says, stay by the Tupperware, too. We're always ducking all the poor on the issue. Ooh, I'll never be president. And we never seem to save a cent. But things are looking better every day. And I'm sergeant at arms of the PGA. Living that domestic life. Happy children and a pretty wife. My cocker spaniels always have a puppy. How could anybody be so lucky? They see me pouring my domestic yard. Lord, I own my soul to master car. But it seems to suit me to a tee. Younger. 
Come on, everybody, and let the good time. There's something you got that really gets me going It's hard to believe the way the feeling's growing So let me say before my heart starts show I'm only in it for the love I want you to know you got my full attention And every move is with my best intention Before we go on, I thought I ought to mention I'm only in it for the love times I let my heart get broken. I closed my eyes and left myself wide open. And now I only deal in real emotion. I'm only in it for the love. Here comes the guitar man. Times I let my heart get broken. I closed my eyes and left my heart wide open. And now I only deal in real emotion. I'm only in it for the love. I'm only in it for the love. Here it comes. Times I let my heart get broken. I closed my eyes and left myself wide open. And now I only deal in real emotion. I'm only in it for the love. I'm only in it for the love. I'm only in it for the love. Thank you very much. Kix Brooks, one of the writers of that song. Before there was a Brooks and Dunn's. When he was uh, done, he was just a songwriter. and uh, But he helped write that along with a couple of friends who, uh, who are no strangers to hit songs. Uh, Rafe Van Hoy and uh, Deborah, Van, uh, Deborah Allen. Uh, great writers. All right. Well, it's good to see everybody. How many folks have been here when we've been here before? Anybody? Yeah. 17. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> Quick count. Very good. Yes. And you're taking pictures, and see, you're, some, you're taking pictures, yeah. Help yourself, you know, take them as you will. A uh, couple of tips, though, just for anybody who wants to take pictures of me, two things we've discovered over the years. One is, if you will, uh, don't spend a long time focusing, trying to make me look better. <laughs> it ain't going to work. <laughs> just point and shoot. You'll come out good. And, and also, if you want to just venture back a ways, uh, if you get take them from back there a little ways, I look a lot like George Strait. And so I'm just saying, <laughs> the further back you get, the more like him I look, too. I'm just saying. I want your pictures to come out good. All right. Well, we're going to do all kinds of stuff. We're going to get to as many of the hits uh, that uh, we can possibly squeeze in here. Uh, we're, we've got a couple of songs that probably that we'll do that maybe you've either not heard us do before or it's been a long time. Uh, mixing a little gospel as we go along here tonight. Um, and, of course, uh, I'm going to be asking you questions. Later I'll give you the chance to ask 
any questions you may have of me, and sometimes nobody has any, and that's fine if you don't, but we'll open the floor for that. And then, of course, after it's all over, I'll be hanging around, be happy to, you know, take a picture, sign an autograph, or just say goodnight. But that's uh, that's that's a ways away. Now, i got to check the crowd. I think I can see enough faces that I think I already know kind of the answer to this. How many people are over 30 in the crowd here tonight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of you aren't answering. <laughs> Anybody under 30 in the crowd? Anybody under 30? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we may do a little more gospel than uh, we may need a little more gospel in here. Uh, anyway, if you are, if you, if there is somehow somebody under 30, and it ain't him, uh, in the crowd here, uh, just remember this small detail. <clears throat> Your time is coming. Here's a song about being on the backside. Making money at 30 With a wife and a son Then a short five years later It all comes undone She's gone back to mama With the boy by her side Now I'm wine drunk and running With them all on my mind I'm on the backside Short side of time Back on the bottom With nowhere to climb Steve. It's gone Monday morning And I just called in sick I skipped work last Friday to drink this month's rent and when my friends ask me Lord I tell them I'm fine but my eyes tell a story that my lies can't hide I'm on the back side of 30 and back on my own and empty apartment The short side of time Back on the bottom With no will to climb All about the backside of the big 3-0 You bet I wrote that back in uh, 1976, and uh, and I was just on the other side of 30 myself when all that took place back in. I hear calculators clicking, don't I? I think I do. Yeah. Well, we'll there may be other hints along the way as we move along here tonight, and you can figure it out. Just take it from me, though. The song is easily upgradable to the ensuing decades. I'm just saying. Well, that's that's that song kind of tells a story of uh, of love that didn't work out and uh, and a breakup of a home and everything. We're going to continue that theme with this next song, which you'll find on our classic CD. It's one of the one of the newer songs on the classic CD, and uh, this song, a young lady named Leslie Satcher wrote this, but this one gives some hope at the end of the trail here. A little song called "From Your Knees." He tore down the world of 17 years, brick by brick and stone by stone. No hammer was swinging, cause cheating and drinking don't need no help wrecking a home. And when he came back, 
to the dust and the rubble of what he had once called his life. He dropped to his knees in sheer disbelief at the total destruction inside. There were empty closets and empty drawers and the tears stained And burning memory in the fireplace. He'd waited too long to say he was wrong. His house was still standing, but his home was gone. Brother, you. see from your knee Well right then and there in an old sinner's prayer he told things he'd kept in the dark There was no use in life cause the one who was listening could see every room in his heart then he put empty whiskey bottles little black book and all in the fire she'd left on the grave oh sometimes a man can change on his own but sometimes I tell you it takes Empty closets and empty drawers And a tear-stained confession on the kitchen floor And burning memory in the fireplace He'd waited too long to say he was wrong His house was still standing He'd fight for his home, brother, you would not believe, brother, you would not believe what you can see from your knees. Yes, from your knees. Not only what you can see from your knees, but also what you can potentially cure by being on your knees. That's right. Love that song. Leslie Satcher, and I, there's another song that she and Vince Gill wrote together, and you'll find it on Gil, uh, Vince's latest album. I'm doing a commercial for him. I don't get a thing out of it, but I just love a song called Bread and Water. Highly recommend. Have you heard that? Isn't that something? You saw Vince? Oh, really? Did he do that song? Well, it's a, it's a, I, I'm gonna, I haven't seen him since I heard him do it, but I've, I'm going to threaten him if he doesn't release it as a single that I'm going to do it and release it myself. Well, <laughs> of course, that'll probably scare him to death. But anyway, <laughs> love that song. Love From Your Knees, too. All right, now we're going to uh, visit a songwriter named Sonny Throckmorton. And uh, Sonny's written uh, several of our hits. And uh, this first one, in fact, tonight, Tonight's the right night for this song right here. It's all about Friday night. He's been working all week. He's got mental fatigue. And that old couch sure looks fine. All week he's been gone, she's been sitting alone Slowly going out of her mind As he kicks off his shoes for the six o'clock news She's getting all pretty dumb Ah, she's one to boogie And he wants to lay there And she's got the Friday night blues Oh, those Friday night blues They get in your shoes and they work 
to get you down. I bet there ain't a lady that I ever knew who didn't need her at night on the town. But the hills and the bills and a week full of deeds has got him feeling you. While he's kicking his shoes off, she's putting hers on. Cause she's got the Friday night blues. was a time she was top of the line her nights like teenage dreams now it's operas at noon dancing around with her broom talking to the washing machine oh the girl down the street says her husband is neat and makes it sound so true now she's feeling lonely Think she's the only one with the Friday night blues. Oh, those Friday night blues, they get in your shoes and they work to get you down. I've been there in a lady that I ever knew who didn't need her a night on the town. But the hills and the bills and the week full of need has got him She's got the Friday night blues Oh, those Friday night blues They get in your shoes And they work to get you down I bet there ain't a lady that I ever knew Who didn't need her a night on the town But the hills and the bells And the week full of need Has got him feeling Well, we'll stick with Sonny for one more song. He also wrote this next one, which you made a hit for us. Uh, uh, sometime after Friday Night Blues, I've lost track. Of, I can't tell you exactly how much time, but maybe a couple of years between them, something like that, uh, if my memory serves me, and it probably doesn't because it's a long time ago. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll just jump on this and see if you remember this other Sonny Throckmorton song. This tells a story that's not that pretty, really. It's a I never thought I'd live to see the day Anyone could turn my head the other way She squirmed beside him, her mind was made Now she can't say that anymore I've never done this sort of thing before once you get started, it ain't all that hard. Then he got up and locked that cheating door. Now she can't say that anymore. At home, a porch lunch burning as she fumbles for the key. Tonight she jumps some fences, but she didn't quite get through. She's cool as a salesman as he opens the door. She's breaking in a new routine for the man who walks the floor. Mama insisted that I stay a while. You're treating me as if I were on trial. I've never lied to you. She kind of smiled. Now she can't say that anymore. She can't say that anymore. At home, a porch lights burning as she fumbles for the key. 
tonight she jumped some fences, but she didn't quite get free. She's cool as a salesman, she opens the door. She's breaking in a new routine for the man who walks the floor. Now she can't say that anymore. She can't say that anymore. Now she can't say that anymore. She can't say that anymore. Now she can't say that anymore. Now she can't say that anymore. She can't say that anymore. Yes. Two by Sonny Throckmorton. All right, we're going to do our first number one record uh, for you next. But, uh, you know, it's sort of a, maybe in a, in a way this could end up being an answer that may help uh, you guys stave off what, uh, you know, the Friday Night Blues talks about. And also that, that see, that second song, I mean, she jumped the traces altogether on that one. Now, if when you guys get in trouble at home, you might want to sing this to her and get you out of trouble maybe. Too many times I didn't try to hold you I never kept the promises I told you Now it's time I give it I know To the words that I should Have said long ago you for that first number one record, national number one record. The year was 1979, and uh, and I appreciate that very much. Now, some of you may have heard me mention this before, but uh, that was a brand new song when I found it. I didn't write it. Uh, in fact, the same people I was talking about earlier, uh, Rafe Van Hoy was one of the writers, and Don Cook uh, was the other on that song. And in fact, uh, Don, who's gone on to produce and write a bunch of hits for a lot of people, uh, Don, uh, that was his first number one as a writer. But anyway, a little while after we had it out, a few months passed, and here comes another guy with and re- records it, releases that song as a single. And I'm sure his uh, plan was to have a pop hit with it because that's where his success had been. Tom Jones recorded Lady Lay Down and put it out. 
And some of you may have heard Tom's version. It didn't, it didn't go pop for him, but it did. His version did hit the country charts. And don't you know, while ours had gone number one, and I really hate to point this out, but <laughs> but I will. While ours had gone number one, good old Tom's version stopped in the 20s on the country charts. Yeah. Yeah. This naturally got my attention because, as we all remember, you know, Tom Jones, he's still at it, too, Mr. Swivel Hips. You know, he's still doing the, the, mm, that stuff. I know. That hurts me. I don't know how he's still. Anyway, you know, I, I did what, you, what people do, especially these days, when you want to find out why things happen the way they do. You, uh, you waste, I mean, you spend your money and, uh, and hire these research people to look into the whole question. And so after months of intensive and expensive research, the answer did finally come back. His stopped in the 20s, and ours went number one due to this body you see before you here tonight. That's what they said. What they said. Proving once again, you spend enough money on that research, you'll get the answer you're looking for. That's right. Came right back, just like I wanted all right, well, let's switch to uh, another great songwriter, and uh, I love what he does. We're going to do a, a, a song by him. Guy Clark is his name. Uh, we're gonna, the first one is one that you made a hit for us that Guy wrote for us, and the second is a new song, at least to us, and uh, we'll kind of preview that for you. But we're going to begin with one. If you work with wood, either as a hobby or profession, you'll be able to relate directly to this. Uh, I relate to it on that level, but I like even more the philosophy of life that is underlined by what this song says. This is called The Carpenter. Let us now praise the carpenter and the things that he made And the way that he lived by the tools of the trade I can still hear his hammer singing ten penny time Working by the hour till the day that he died He was tough as a crowbar He was quick as a chisel Fair as a plain lord and true as a limb He was straight as a chalk line Right as a rule He was square With a care and a love that you don't see too often He built boats out of wood, big boats Working in a shipyard Mansions on the hill And a birdhouse in the backyard He was tough as a crowbar He was quick as a chisel Square with the world, he took good care of his two. Here he is again. Mickey. He said, Anything that's worth cutting down a tree for. Is worth doing right, don't the Lord love a two by four? And if you ask him how to do something, he'd say, like Noah built the ark. You gotta hold your mouth right, son, and never miss your mark. You'll be tough as a crow, you'll be quick as a chip. Carpenter, Guy Clark. Yes, love that song. And Guy is a carpenter in, uh, in addition to being a master craftsman as a songwriter. And I love him as an artist as well. 
But, uh, but Guy uh, is good enough at working with wood that he can build musical instruments, and that's about as good as it gets. Well, he, uh, he wrote another song that I discovered on one of his albums back in the 90s sometime, kind of, kind of filed it away in my mind and, uh, and really learned it a long, long time ago, but we just have recorded it and uh, not too far back, haven't released it yet. However, you may have heard us do this if you are a fan of either the Larry's Country Diner or Country Family Reunion. We've done this song on both of those shows within the last for some months. But I, I love what this song has to say. I think it's uh, apropos for the times because I think we'll be returning. For those of us who have uh, kind of drifted a little bit, we're going to be returning to what this song talks about. This is called Stuff That Works. Got an old blue shirt and it suits me just fine. I like the way it feels, so I wear it all the time. Got an old guitar, won't ever stay in tune. I like the way it sounds in a dark and empty room. Got an old pair of boots, and they fit just right. I can work all day. And I can dance all night Got an old used car That runs just like a top 